So much for flirting. O'Shea stepped close and held my door closed, once more looming over me. I didn't often feel small, but this close to him, I felt like a child. The same child he'd met nearly ten years ago. Adamson, one of these days I'm going to find out how you did it. How you made your little sister disappear. And when I do, all of this vigilante shit of yours will stop. Because I'll make sure you're in jail for a very, very long time. You're not fooling me. I know who's to blame for your sister's death. We may not have a body, but one day soon, you're going to slip up. My jaw tightened and tears threatened to show themselves. I would not let him see me cry, damn it. After all these years, he was the only one who could bring me this close to tears. And when I do, you'll be there, right? You'll be there to slip the noose over my neck and watch me swing? You son of a Suddenly, we were nose to nose. Mini-Me was in the background. There are people staring, sir. You'd think the FBI would like a little help finding kids and returning them to their families. Not when they're dead. That had been the last kid. I'd found him, but it had been too late. The family was grateful to have closure. The FBI and local police, not so much. It's a little difficult to explain a werewolf attack to people who have no idea the monsters are real. Of course, there had been other kids that hadn't made it home alive, but I didn't tell O'Shea. No need to point out that detail. At least I can find them. More than you slackers ever manage. I hoped my breath smelled bad. Damn, would flirting with this man really work? Slackers? Glorified donut-eating cops. The only difference is you get to dress in Gucci, and the cops have hand-me-down uniforms. His eyes nearly bugged out, and he grabbed me by the shoulders. I went limp in his hands. Assault on an unarmed woman, O'Shea? Now that won't look good on the old permanent record, will it? He didn't drop his hands, not right away. Since when do you go anywhere without your blades? He took his hands off my shoulders and flipped my jacket open. His fingers brushed underneath my breasts, even, sending a shot of awareness through me, the perv. I let him. I certainly wasn't going to tell him all my weapons were waiting for me in the jeep, but I had nothing on me at the moment. He wiped his hands on his pants, as if he'd touched something nasty. I know what you are, Adamson. You're a fraud and a child killer. I'd had enough of his tirade, enough of the memories he stirred up. I leaned forward until we were nose to nose again and gave him the eye contact I knew most people couldn't handle. It was time to put Millie's suggestion to the test. When you have chocolate eyes laced with gold and emerald green, it either freaks people out or turns them on. I was banking on them freaking him out. You know what I think, Agent O'Shea? He blinked at me, and I took advantage of the proximity of his lips. Mm. I planted a big fat kiss on him, slipping my tongue through his Mm. teeth and flicking it along the roof of his mouth. Mm. He didn't fight me, and for a split second his lips softened on mine, the taste of mint lingering on my tongue as I pulled away from him. O'Shea swayed, and then scrambled away from me, dark eyes wide. His hand went to his gun. I think you just like to follow me around so you can watch my nice tight ass wiggle. You've been watching it for nearly ten years, haven't you? Mm-hmm. I blew a kiss at Mini Me and hopped into my Jeep. The kiss did what nothing else could have, what nothing in ten years had managed. It shut him up. Well, shit, Millie was right. I left from our encounter with a smile on my lips. 